back to my channel. It's Jasmine. For those who are new, I am a full-time nurse working in Ontario, Canada, but I also like to resell on the US and Canadian Poshmark app as well as eBay. For today's video, I wanted to do a recap on my sales for the month of September. I know it's already mid-October, but I want to still do a review of my sales just because I can see what's been selling for me and hopefully this will give you a good idea of what to pick up. If you like reselling content like this, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. So to start off, I had a total of $903 sold on the Canadian Poshmark app and a total of $2,706 sold on the US app. So my first sale on the Canadian platform was this bundle. It was um, this Free People dress um, along with this uh, Bodycon Free People dress, um, this Jacob skirt, this American Eagle Aztec skirt, as well as this Calvin Klein trench jacket and this Wilfred Free Georgia t-shirt. So together this sold for $165 and I believe the buyer put all these items um, in a bundle herself and I sent her the offer and she accepted it. My next sale was this TNA um, Goose Down Parka. It's similar to the Bancroft Parka but it's an older style but it was in excellent condition and it sold for an offer of $150. Next, I sold this uh, pair of jeans. I picked them up from a retail store. It's called um, DL 1961 jeans, and they sold for best offer of $70. This was my first time picking up this um, brand of jeans, but it did pretty well, and it sold pretty fast, so I would keep a uh, lookout for this uh, brand if you see it in the thrift store. Next, I sold these Sam Edelman Louis boots. They were genuine leather, and these sold for an offer of $35. My next sale was this Torrid Tank, and it sold for best offer of $16. I'd only picked it up for a couple of dollars, but it was a fast flip. I'm trying to incorporate more plus-size clothing in my store, and Torrid seems to do pretty well. My next sale was this Lululemon Black Hot Hitter Polar Shirt, and this sold for an offer of $40. Um, I sold this Lululemon Scoop Me Up Tank, and this sold for an offer of $25. My next sale were these J brand white jeans and these sold for a uh, best offer of $75. Next I sold this Running Room unisex jacket. It sold for a best offer of $35. I believe Running Room is a Canadian brand so I had only listed this on the Canadian app um, and it sold I think maybe within a month of me listing it. It actually sold like to somebody that lived 30 minutes away and um, like 20 to 30 minutes away. So when it actually arrived at their house, the tracking said that it was on my way back to me, but the buyer had accepted and gave me a good feedback. So I think that happens if um, the buyer lives somewhere close to you. So don't sweat it if that happens to you because um, yeah, usually there's no issue. Next, I sold this Wilfred Free Lazier dress, and this sold for a best offer of $27. I sold this dress a couple of times, and usually it sells between $25 and $35. Next, I sold this Free People Dorothy top. This sold for best offer of $32. This was when I was first starting retail arbitrage, and I was picking up like all the good brands, but now I finally realized that only certain styles sell for more. Uh, so I didn't make a huge profit out of this sale, but I was glad to see it go. Next, I sold this Lululemon Black Parkway blazer. This was brand new with tags, and it sold for a best offer of $125. Next was this Anthropology Saturday Sunday blazer, and this sold for a best offer of $30. My next sale was this Adidas Trifold Black Puffer. I had this since last um, winter time, but I think I just listed it too late, and it finally sold for $50. And my last sale on the Canadian platform was this Wilfred sweater, and this sold for best offer of $28. My first sale on the US platform were these Adidas Stan Smith shoes, and they sold for a best offer of $53. Next, I sold this Nike vest. I had picked up two of these from a retail store. The black one actually sold on the Canadian platform, I believe, last month, and this white one sold for $35, which was best offer. 
My next sale was this Aviva um, tennis skirt, and this sold for best offer of 18. I probably won't pick up Aviva anymore just because it doesn't resell for very much, unless maybe if I pick it up for a dollar or so, because I can usually sell it between maybe 15 to 20 dollars. Next, I sold this Lululemon Yin Yang turtleneck, and this sold for best offer of 34 dollars. Next, I sold this Lululemon Easy Days backpack, and this sold for best offer of $85. And this sold, I think, within like um, two or three days of me listing it. Next, I sold this bundle. It was this Janet Jackson tour shirt, along with this Adidas New Track um, zip-up jacket, and these Converse shoes. The buyer had put this in the bundle herself and told me to send her an offer, and I sent her the offer of $80, which she accepted. Next, I sold these J. Crew um, toothpick jeans, and this sold for best offer of 18. J. Crew doesn't have a high resale value for their jeans, um, but I can consistently get them around the $20 mark. So if I can pick them up for a dollar or two, then I usually pick it up. Next, I sold this Anthropology tiny uh, top. This um, was a silk blend, and this sold for um, $25, which I believe I sent the offer to, and she accepted. Next, I sold this H&M collaboration piece. I'm not sure how to pronounce the brand, but it's Maison, Maison Martin Margiela, maybe? I don't know. I don't know if it's French, but um, this sold for $60, which I sent an offer to. Next, I sold these Lululemon Fast and Free tights. Um, this sold for $80, $80, and they were brand new with tags. Next, I sold these Nike leggings. These, I picked up two pairs, one extra small and one in, I think, 1X. The 1X size sold a lot, um, a lot faster and for a higher price. I think that one actually sold for $45, and this one sold for $30. Next, I sold this Lululemon blue hoodie. This was an older style, and it had a bit of, like, white marks to it, um, which weren't really noticeable, but I did include that in the, in the description, and it sold for $25. Next, I sold these a Goldie Sophie high rise jeans. These I picked up from um, Retail Arbitrage and they sold pretty fast and they sold for $65. Next, I sold these Converse um, All Star shoes. This sold for an offer of $40. Next, I sold this Aritzia Babaton um, sweater. It was a linen and silk blend. I didn't know the exact style name, but I just included all that in the description and in my title and it sold for um, sorry, it sold in a bundle, so it sold together with um, these Wilfred Free Bellin pants, and together they sold for $65. Next, I sold this Lululemon Green Swiftly Long Sleeve, and this sold for a best offer of $48. Next, I sold this uh, Grey North Face Sweater, and this sold for $30. My next sale was this Cult of Individuality Jeans. Um, this was my first time picking up this brand, but it sold for $35. Next, I sold these Lululemon joggers. These were actually my husband's. Um, you'll kind of notice that I sold a lot of my husband's clothes, um, and this sold for best offer of $17. It did have a lot of wash wear um, and, like, stretch to it. Um, so I was happy with anything that I could get, and $17 was fine. Next, I sold these Vans that had a cheetah pattern to it, and it sold for full asking price of $75. My next sale were these Lululemon um, Invigorate High Rise Tights, and it had like a camel print, and this sold for best offer of $75. Next, I sold this Avalanche um, sweater, had like a cowl neck, and this sold for $30. I had picked this up since um, last year, I believe, but I posted it really late into like the cold sweater months. So um, I was glad to see it go this winter. Next, I sold this Madewell Kimball sweater, and this sold for a best offer of $35. This was when I was first starting out retail arbitrage, and I realized that the resale value for certain Madewell pieces isn't as high as I was expecting, but I'm still happy that I was able to get rid of it. Next, I sold these Vans uh, Mono Chambray shoes, and these sold for best offer of $35. Next, I sold these American Eagle Curvy Super High Rise Jeans, and these sold for best offer of $18. Um, usually for AE jeans, I don't pick them up unless they're really cheap and if they're a trendy style, like super high rise, maybe distressed, and skinny jeans. Next, I sold this Men's Metal Vent um, Tech 
half zip sweater and this sold for $64, which was a uh, best offer. And it sold within a, less than a week of me listing it. My next sale was this other Lululemon Metal Tech um, short sleeve shirt. This I posted at the same time as the long sleeve and together they both, like they both sold pretty fast. This one sold for $50. My next sale were these Lululemon Speed shorts and these sold for best offer $29. Next, I sold these J. Crew flats. Um, these I picked up from an outlet store and it sold for best offer of $35. Next, I sold this uh, Lululemon Restless Mock Neck Sweater and this sold for best offer of $50. Next, I sold these Brandy Melville pants. Um, this sold for best offer of $20. This was my first time selling Brandy Melville. I know that it's pretty popular, but the resale value is not that high, I'd say. Next, I sold this Wilfred Panther blouse, and this sold for best offer of $22. My next sale was this Budweiser pullover. This was also my husband's, and it sold for $20. Next, I sold this bundle of Nike shirts. These were all my husband's, again, and they sold for, I think my listing price was $25, and I received an offer for $20, which was pretty reasonable. Next, I sold this Banana Republic sweater. It was like a wool blend. It was also my husband's, um, and he never wore it because he thought it was too itchy, and it sold for $22. My next sale was this Levi's jacket. This was also my husband's, um, and it sold for $48. Next, I sold these Lululemon Flurry Up joggers, and they were brand new with tags, and this sold for $82, which I believe I sent the offer to the buyer. Next, I sold these Harry Potter Marauder's Map um, shoes, and these sold for $100. Next was this Tallulah Mulberry cardigan. Um, I think it was a wool blend, um, and this sold for $35. Next, I sold this Lululemon Free to Be Wild sports bra. They were brand new with tags, and it sold for $42. Next, I sold this Babaton purple sweater. This was an Angora um, blend, and this sold for $30. Next, I sold this Lululemon Vinyasa scarf, and this sold for best offer 30 as well. Next, I sold another Lululemon piece. This was a striped gray racerback tank, and this sold for $22. Next, I sold um, another Lululemon piece. This was a run energy tank, and this sold for 30 Next, I sold this Anthropology Yellowbird cardigan, and this sold for a full asking price of $24. My next sale was this bundle. It included this TNA pea coat, which was a wool blend, as well as this Banana Republic long sleeve, which was my husband's, and together they sold for 80. My next sale was this Athleta uh, Tribeca cropped. Um, these were brand new without tags, and they sold for $35. Next, I sold these Lululemon Ebb to Train tights, and these sold for best offer $58. Next was another little lemon piece. It was a soft shine sweater and it sold for best offer of 40. My next sale were these Hunter short rain boots and they sold for a full asking price of $100 and they were brand new. Next were these Paige Clark denim jeans. They did have um, some wear that I didn't notice before. Um, it had like dimpling to it. I just kind of wanted to get rid of them and they sold for $13. Next, I sold this Lululemon men's um, shirt, and this was also my husband's, and it sold for, um, I believe I sent the offer of $35, and somebody accepted it. Next, I sold another bundle. Um, the buyer actually um, sent an offer for the one pair of Joe's jeans, and she had liked another pair of Joe's jeans, and I said that together, if she wanted to buy them both, that I'd sent her an offer of 50 and she accepted Next, I sold this men's Kangol jacket. I don't know much of this brand, but this was my husband's and we had originally thrifted it and it sold for a full asking price of $50. Next, I sold these Stuart Wiseman boots. They were genuine suede um, leather and they sold for best offer of $100. Next, I sold these men's campus sneakers and they sold for uh, best offer of $55. Next sale was this Adidas Firebird track jacket and this sold for best offer of $17. My next sale was this Lululemon Inner Awareness Tank, and this sold for $25, which I believe I sent the offer to. And my last sale for the month were these Girlfriend Carolina Jeans, and they sold for a full asking price of $162. So that concludes my sales for the month of September. 
they were a lot higher than my months for the summer. I was trying to list more and be more active on the app. But so hopefully for the month of October, my sales will be a little bit better. So far, they're not too bad, but over the Canadian Thanksgiving weekend, I didn't make any sales at all. So I'm trying to list more and to be more active. So hopefully I can um, pick up my sales for the month of October. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.